Welcome back to JR and Sue's farm. Uh, this is just a short one, but I, uh, I didn't video it. I just wanted to show you what we do when we ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, home from work, playing, and I didn't start this video, but I told you in the last one that I was making lumber for a chicken house, and I thought I would give you a short look at the base. Now this is hillbilly style chicken pen. And we have got a base that we've cut out of rough cut lumber. And I will show you the base. And uh, it's not going to last forever. Probably outlast me. But uh, it's just uh, the form and the floor for a chicken house. Now, when you're not doing nothing with your spare lumber, and everybody asks me, JR, you got any bad lumber? I'm like, sure. <laughs> I have a bandsaw. I sometimes cut crooked lumber. Not very often, but sometimes. Sometimes I recut it. This is some of the stuff I cut earlier, and now I've recut it into two by sixes for the floor of a chicken house. We don't waste anything around here. So that's what I've done today. Okay, it's another day and we're working back on the chicken house. Okay, the floor is done. Now we gotta go cut something to make the sides out of. Huh? All right, three walls up. Looking good. Okay, all four sides are in. And while you're gone, we put the roof on. So it's coming along pretty good. Well, all great engineers have their own idea about doing things. But this chicken house is made out of tuba twos. Okay, we got the sides on it. We've got the roof all ready to put tin on it. We're going right at it. Got the door on it. Oh, all the way around roof scaffolding all set up ready to get it for tomorrow we put the tin on getting the roof done the sun's gonna be right in your eye here I was going to video the inside of the chicken house. We've got air ventilation in front and back. That way they don't get too hot winter time. We'll cut some holes and windows in the side of it after we're done getting everything around. We've got the roof on it, the sides on it. And if you look real close, you can see that the old tin is from our barn that we had fall down a couple years ago in a snowstorm and we reclaimed the tin off of it and used it for the building. And uh, trim on the sides of it is all pretty much scrap from the wood pile. And the, the bank out back, we don't throw away much of anything. We're going to shut this thing down and I'm going to send this to you. As always, 
if you like our videos share them with a friend if you don't like our videos share them with all your friends why should you suffer alone this chicken house has been fun to make i didn't show you no footage from up top because it was all i could do just hang on up there i'm not quite as balanced as i used to be but for me and sue goodbye for now